Hey everyone, welcome to Kaiju Inc. A drawing session with all depth. I am Rika from Passion Republic Games and here with me are my two amazing teammates, Invi and Li Er, who will be doing a digital drawing of characters from Gigabash. Let's do a quick intro for our fellow audience. Can you tell us who you are and what do you do here? Oh hi, I'm Kim Fai. Hi, I'm Dia. Yeah, so uh, both of us is a concert artist for Gigabash. Right. <laughs> Uh, I like how Skora looks really big and terrifying in the sketch. Can you tell us more about your thought process when you were designing it? Oh, okay. Uh, so for me, the, the posing and the anger is the most is the trickiest part uh, because, like as you can see, Skora is a snailian. Unlike the other kaiju in Giga Bash, like uh, Gorgon, Ipijuras, and Wooly, so. Most of the kaiju in the game is kind of like a humanoid or a beast type So it's easier to apply dynamic pose for them compared to Skorak So at the end, I decided to show more of his uh, shell design uh, Which is uh, the, the back wheel of Skorak Because I think that's the most unique part for Skorak And also not showing the face to audience Maybe just showing a little bit of uh, its mouth tentacles so you guys can have more imagination on how it looks like Can you tell us more about your inspiration when designing Spora? Mm, okay, so I remember at first the, the game director he told me that he wants a snailian uh, for the next kaiju design so I remember the keyword that he gave me was uh, it needs to be an uh, unpredictable character so when you look at him you don't really know like what he is thinking and the attack move will surprise the player at the same time so uh, when I start doing the research, I think of uh, Namegon from Ultra Q. It's a very very old uh, tokusatsu show. Uh, but I also want to make it more than a snail or a slug kaiju. So I starting to apply some Lovecraft motif into the design, like uh, Cthulhu, Great Race, Elder Thing. If I can make Skora into the cosmic horror genre, I think that would be fun too. I see that Skora has a really bright big body with scary looking skull. Um, what was the thought process behind that design decision? Oh, um, the idea behind the bright color, uh, usually the poisonous animals have vibrant colors. Therefore, I use a magenta red on Skora so when the audience look at him, it will relate to poisonous and dangerous. And for the skull head, I don't really remember who suggested that because uh, when we have a brainstorming meetings uh, usually the ideas like came from here and there, it came from everywhere so I don't really remember who suggested that idea but I really think the skull shell is a, it's a really good idea and it's fun to draw because uh, personally I like to draw like organic stuff, organic material Yep. Also, I noticed that Skora seems like a really complex character to draw. Can you just talk to us a little about your challenges when designing it? Oh, um, to be honest, compared to the I, uh, compared to the other kaiju in the game, uh, I think Skora is way more easy to draw. I think the challenge for Skora is uh, I have a difficulty to set a pose for him because of the limitation 
of his anatomy. Yeah, because he's a snail, so sometimes it's very hard to decide a pose for him. Yeah. It is a very interesting choice to have uh, Pipi Jura's fight scorer. What made you pick Pipi instead of other characters like Woody or Thundertross? Um, because both of them look strange. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to Gorok's detail level, Woody might be too simple, while Gorogong and Thundertross have too much detail. So I choose Pipi Jura because it has more or less the same detail level with Gorok and they share a similar kind of strange alienish vibe too. Oh yeah, Lian, I noticed halfway in your inking process, you actually erased some of your rendering on PP. Seems like you were reconsidering something. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, I, I feel like the shading makes it a bit noisy. Since PP is at the back, it would be better to let it be simple. You guys finished the inking quite fast. From the looks of it, it seems like both of you have really good synergy. How do you guys achieve that? Mm, I think because I have worked with uh, Leon for quite some time, so we kind of know, know each other's working method. I guess that's the reason. And then I also set a time limit for myself. Uh, so when I when I draw the this this piece of drawing, I I, I kind of tell myself I had to finish this within one to two hours. So when I draw, I just go with the flow and didn't really think a lot in the process. Um, also because I already planned most of the things uh, before I start the drawing, so it really helps me a lot. Uh, and also to helps me to have a clearer direction uh, when I'm drawing the. The, the life drawing. Yeah. Cool. I definitely agree with you that you know, good teams, chemistry, and well planning comes hand in hand when we need to stay focused in accomplishing a task together. It is good to see that both of you enjoy the process and really creating an awesome piece of drawing. Alright, that's a wrap. We hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye! Bye! Thank Bye. you!